Hi, this is Kevin Stoda. Welcome to the Kevin Stoda channel. And today I'm sharing with you about 30 days of gratitude. 30 days of gratitude. Go through the next 30 days and uh, watch this video and respond to these questions. Be thoughtful. Get to know yourself. It's uh, time to be mindful with coronavirus and all that. We need to walk slowly and begin to share. And you can do this with a friend, with a family member too. Number one, what smell are you grateful for today? Hmm. What smell are you grateful for today? Hmm. I'm just grateful I can smell right now because if I've had allergies, bad thing. Um, so smell fresh air without allergy uh, pollen in it, I guess. Number two, what technology are you grateful for? Like, are you grateful for your Samsung phone, like the one I'm recording on now? Um, what technology are you grateful for? Number three, what color are you grateful for? Are you grateful for something like this? Or what color are you thankful that the world was made with so that you could enjoy? Number four, what food are you most grateful for? What food are you most grateful for? My wife's Filipina, and I'm from the United States. There's a whole broad category of food between there and here. What's your favorite? What food are you grateful for? Number five, what sound are you grateful for today? What sound are you grateful for today? You hear the birds? I'm definitely grateful for the birds. Number six, when in nature, what in nature are you grateful for? What in nature are you grateful for? Sunshine, clear day, wind, blue sky, birds, um, animals, grass. What are you grateful for in nature? Okay. And let's see. Um, number seven, what memory are you grateful for? What memory are you grateful for today? I just did a lot of cleaning, so I came across some old photos, and I'm glad I have them. Um, one was back in Germany, uh, 1998, I believe, when I visited my sister, and, and my nephew was just a baby in a carriage. They were at Trier, um, Trier's Roman uh, Arch. I think it's called the Porta Negro. Uh, number eight, what book are you most grateful for? <laughs> Naturally, the Bible, but a lot of other books from Les Miserables uh, to How to Live with ADHD and other books. What's your favorite book? What are you grateful for? Number nine, uh, what place are you most grateful for? What place in the world are you most grateful for? Mm -hmm. Any idea? What place are you most grateful for? Is it here, right where you're at, or some other place? Number 10, what taste are you grateful for today? What taste are you grateful for? Mm, my wife made some uh, good vittles, and I won't share what they were, but uh, I'm sure you have some good ones to share. Uh, a few days ago, we had nice burritos too that she made uh, with special um, sausage and other other things including vegetable and watermelon right that was amazing uh, number 11 what holiday are you grateful for what holiday are you grateful for <laughs> I'm just grateful for vacation I'm a teacher number 12 what texture are you grateful for number 12 what texture are you grateful for is it the uh, smoothness of your nice new car is it uh, tennis shoes you just bought? Is it uh, running your hand through your child's hair? What are the, what texture are you grateful for? Number 13, what abilities are you grateful for? What abilities are you grateful for? What talents do you have? I'm sure all of you could make a YouTube channel if you'd like. What site are you grateful for? What site are you grateful for? Hmm. 
since I've traveled to 102 countries, so quite a few sites I'm grateful for. And of course, the site of your uh, bride in the morning, or uh, what other sites could there be? Number 15, uh, what season are you grateful for? I like this time right between uh, spring and summer. It's cool, relatively cool right now. We don't need the air conditioning. The birds, you can hear singing. The windows are a little bit open. And uh, I, I like this time. What about your body? What are you grateful for at your body? Are you grateful for your nose? Your beautiful hands? Uh, your white beard? Your red hair? What is it? Your um, toenails? I don't know. You share. Again, this is a good game to play with your partner, a good activity to be sharing with your partner. All right. What knowledge are you grateful for? That's number 17. What knowledge are you grateful for? Is it knowledge from experience? Is it knowledge from studying? Uh, how did you get that knowledge? But what knowledge are you grateful for is the first question. the knowledge that somebody cares for you what is the knowledge you are grateful for uh, the knowledge of safety the knowledge of how to build a NASA rocket ship to launch to the far depths of the universe number 18 what piece of art are you grateful for what piece of art are you grateful for is it something by Botticelli is it something of your own creation your children's art uh, Van Gogh you tell me number 19 what touch are you grateful for today what touch are you grateful for today number 20 who in your life are you grateful for who in your life are you grateful for your daughter, your son, your cousin, your mother, your grandfather, share. Number 18, what piece of art are you grateful for? What piece of art are you grateful for? Mm -hmm. I think I repeated number 18, I'm sorry. Number 21 was, uh, what song are you most grateful for? What song are you most grateful for? Is it a bird song? Is it a song from you too? I like New Year's Day. Number 22. What story are you grateful for? Greatest story ever told? A short story? A vignette from your own life? What story are you grateful for? Number 23, what tradition are you grateful for? Like our, our family, do you have a tradition like eating popcorn and ice cream on Sunday night together? What tradition are you grateful for? Number 24, what challenge are you grateful for? What challenge are you grateful for? The challenge to start a new career at this time of life when the uh, coronavirus has led you to loss of job? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe there's another challenge, though, that you will like. Number 25. What moment this week are you most grateful for? Yeah, this past week. You've had seven days. There must be a moment in this past week you are grateful for. I had some good financial news this week, and I'm pretty happy about it, so... That'd be one thing I'm grateful for. What are you grateful for? Is it something more intrinsic uh, rather than financial? Is it something about love and life and wonder? What other good news could there be? Um, number 26. What form of expression are you most grateful for? Is it a type of music? A type of dance? Is it a type of speaking like Hip hop or rap? Is it blues or jazz? What form of expression are you grateful for? That was 26. Number 27. What small thing that you use daily are you grateful for? 
Well, I think my toothbrush. But what what thing do you like best, or are you grateful for? Socks, uh, your glasses, earring. What small thing that you use daily are you grateful for? Number 28. What small thing that happened today are you grateful for? What small thing that happened today are you grateful for? I was glad my daughter helped clean uh, part of the house. I'm definitely grateful for that, uh, that she took the effort to do a pretty good job for her. Number 29. What friendly friend or family member are you grateful for today? What friend, fam, or family member are you grateful for today? For example, uh, my brother uh, and I had a long conversation, and it was good to bond a little bit better. I'd worked overseas for many years, and I wasn't able to bond with him. I'm very grateful that we can talk regularly now. Um, number 30. What talent or skill do you have that you are grateful for? I don't know. I think one of my skills is to keep trying to learn new things. Uh, that means I don't give up so easily. I might give up sometime, but I'll come back to it if, you, if the chance is given. But other things I do give up on. Hmm. I have to think about that one. What talent or skill do you have that you are grateful for? All right. This is uh, the Kevin Stoney channel. And one of the things I'm grateful for is the skill of YouTubing. But I'm not happy about my skill in editing so i hope in the future i will learn and maybe that'll be a goal for this lifelong learner anyway this is uh the end of our 30 days of being grateful okay uh, you can watch this uh play it slowly talk to your friends it's a good way to relax just write down these um uh, 30 days of gratitude in your own way and and work in your heart for a meditative person purposes or mindfulness you can also have fun with friends or play uh, a game of dice or toss a coin and, and go through the days and share that's a good way to get to know each other um, God bless you and have a good day this is the Kevin Stoder channel give me thumbs up